Hello. I am. Dave Chappell. I wrote this story for an Omelette homework assignment and I had the great opportunity to present to the showcase. The assignment was to listen to the sounds in your home at night and write a story about one. I always hear my great mother's clock and I pick that sound to write about. I am not going to say my life has been perfect, but as I listen to the sounds in my house at night, they do trigger happy memories throughout my life. I am not going to say my life has been perfect, but as I listen to the sounds in my house at night, they do trigger happy memories throughout my life. I don't remember much about my great-grandmother, but I remember I was about nine years old and my family went to visit her. Her house wasn't wheelchair accessible. Imagine that. So I had to kneel and crawl around on her kitchen floor. I don't remember why, but we were allowed in her living room. I think she thought I would break something. <laughs> I don't think she really understood I wasn't walking around like the rest of the children, but she knew I was really loved and liked being a part of things. My great-grandmother was a Polish immigrant, and of course she came to America with my great-grandfather where they settled in the Polish neighborhood in Cleveland. Like every family in those days, the husband went to work while the wife stayed home to take care of the house and children. So there wasn't much reason for her to learn English. I remember hearing stories from my dad about how she laid the law with everybody and everybody knew not to make her mad. <laughs> In Polish families, grandmothers are highly respected and the grandchildren call her Busha, which is a very special term of endearment. When my dad was growing up, he spent a lot of time at his grandparents' house and he always enjoyed to listen to their clock in the kitchen chime and he always said he wanted that clock someday. On the night when we visited our Busha, I remember I thought the clock was awesome and I remember thinking I really wanted the clock. <laughs> it was pretty funny because I wanted to tell her I really liked the clock, but there was a huge communication barrier between us because I didn't have a communication device back then, so my parents and sister and brother were figuring out when I was saying through gestures. Then once they figured out what I was saying, they had to tell Busha that I liked the clock. Once she finally understood what was being said to her, she said to just take the clock. <laughs> we didn't take the clock on that occasion. A few years after our visit with our Busha, she passed away and her belongings were distributed pretty much to the entire family. When my dad was asked if there was anything in particular he wanted from her house, of course he said the clock. For a couple of years it was displayed in my parents' living room with the understanding eventually the clock would be passed down to me. But as the years went on, my parents got new furniture and redecorated, so the clock ended up in their basement, but I wouldn't let my dad forget it was there and I wanted it. <laughs> After years of bugging him and reminding him the clock was in his basement, my dad finally gave me the clock. 
now it is proudly displayed in my wife's and my living area and when we hear a chime we were reminded of our family history. Since we don't have children I am planning to pass it to my oldest nephew so he can enjoy it with his family for years to come. Thank you. Yeah.